Today I want to show you the function of dollar sign in Excel. So let's do a very simple cell reference right here. So if you take A1, cell reference, and then you drag it across down a column, it would be A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7, S right here. And if you drag it across a row, it would be B1 and B C1. So this is very easy to understand. But how about if I add a dollar sign in front of a letter and the number, say in this case, in front of a letter of A, in front of a letter of 1. I'm still selecting A1 cell right here, but what is the difference is when I drag it down column or drag it across a row, it will still be A1. Dollar sign meaning fixing. So in this case, you are dragging while fixing A, the column, and fixing 1, the row. So you are fixing 2, the column and row, so no matter how you how you drag it, it still be A1. So you can see that this cell is A1, but if you compare the cells, it will already change to B1. Now see what will happen if we add a dollar sign in front of number. So that means is we let the um, column to change but fixing the row. So let's see. A dollar sign 1. So let the letter change, let the column change, fixing the number, fixing the row. So if you drag it downwards, the row doesn't change because it's still to be row 1. Okay, But you drag across the row, the letter change. So right here, now we fix the letter, but not fixing the number. So we are now fixing a column, but not fixing a row. So what will happen? A1. Since we are not fixing the row, if we drag down uh, a column, the row will change. But if we drag across the row, the column doesn't change, so it doesn't change to B1 or C1, but it remains at A1 and, and A1 right here. So I hope it helps, and uh, remember to subscribe or like our videos if you find it useful, and thanks for watching.